together and uh, if you have not done so i want you to uh, please subscribe to this channel and also share the videos to other farmers so that we can also benefit together i tend to come again and again to this channel to give you quality content to help you scale your farming business i've been in the industry for over 34 years and i can tell you that i have some things that can uh, uh, add to you that will help you to scale your farming business uh, today like i said i'm looking at seven ways to make a success of your farming business number one think success all the time think success all the time don't ever give room to failure mentality success in any business is the mindset you give to it and you have to have a success mindset. You have to have a success mindset. Believe that you are going to make it in this business, no matter what. And to do that, it has to do with your thinking pattern. Think success, 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 success. Don't ever give room to any form of failure mentality. Just believe that this family business I'm going to succeed in it. I know what I'm talking about. In my parley with farmers most of the years, it's called that the people that are not doing well, they have this hesitancy, this doubt, this even from the way they talk, you know, from the way they express themselves because of certain setback, it's called that these people are not having enough success mentality concerning this business. Uh, it's not only in farming business. Any business that you hope to make a source of it has to do with also your mentality. So, success mentality is it if you are going to do well in any farming business. Number two, think positive all the time. Well, you might think they are the same thing, it's not the same thing. Okay, assuming that you see in the industry, in the farming industry, we have what we call a lot of ups and downs, especially in the area of inputs. Look at people doing poultry farming business. Uh, at the time, you know, there was a time they were even selling in Nigeria, my country, they were selling meat for maybe about net, uh, 90 dollars and 90,000 naira per ton. At the time, it went to 140,000 and it keeps going up. The same with soya bean. So, when you look at the inputs, the instability of the input prices has put a lot of pressure on farmers and so sometimes when you look at them when they talk it, it has changed their utterances they just begin to focus on negative but what i want i always tell farmers is this you have to mind the way you look at things you have to think positive no matter what is happening once you have a positive mindset you you stand a greater chance of turning things around I know a farmer, a friend of mine, who is, is, I've been in farming for many years, he said that anytime there are things that are going uh, somehow in the farming industry, that's when we even go ahead and make a booking for DOG. Because you know, some people will run away. And when they run away, they create market for him. And he has been doing that for over 20 years, making money in farming. So you can't afford to be negative. Negativity is a killer in any business. Negativity is a poison for any business so you don't want to be negative in any way when people who are negative around you find a way to leave them and focus on the positive that is how to make it in any business not only family alone so think positive all the time number three think productivity all the time when it comes to farming it has to do with productivity 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 so you have to be productivity minded. I want to increase my productivity. I want to increase my productivity. That is what you all, you'll be telling your team every time. Okay, as when you have maybe a, a, a one acre of land and you are producing maize, your goal is to see, I want to produce more tons that I've been doing before on this same acre of land. That's productivity. As when you have 1,000 lean beds, okay, I'm, I'm having about 700 of them laying every day. That is 70% production. No, I want to move it to 
800 of them laying every day. No, I want to move it to 850 laying every day. No, I want to get to 900 of them laying egg every day. 90%. That's how to move. That's how to be thinking. You are always thinking productivity. You always th how can I be more productive? How can we be more productive? That is the song you are singing every time in your farming business. Number four, think profits every day. <laughs> every day. It's an everyday affair. There are several rules of business sources. One of the, the first one is that you have to make profit. You have to make profit. This business must be profitable. Even the holy book says that in every labor there is profit. So don't ever think otherwise. I must make profit in this business. So when people start business by envisioning, oh, I want to make 30% from this business, profit, and they work backwards. So it will enhance their bargaining power, it will enhance their activity in talking to their team, in moving together as a team, and making sure you work to the end. So you're always thinking profits. We must make profit. I'm not going to be part of any business that will not make profit. So it will help you in everything you are doing on every department of that farming business because everybody is working towards making profit of that business. If there's no profit in that business, you will soon pack up. So think profit every day. When you begin to think profit every day, ideas on how to make profit begin to surface from different angles. Then number five, think marketing always. This is my favorite. Think marketing always. Marketing, marketing, marketing. I always tell people, marketing is very simple. Marketing is getting customers and keeping customers. If you can get customers for your product and you can keep them, you will make it in any business. That's marketing. So anything to, you can do to make your business attractive to getting and keeping customers, that is marketing. And a lot of farmers are making mistakes, thinking that production is the secret of farming success. Well, it's good to be good in production. But if you are good in production and you are poor in marketing, you are going to be making money for people. Because those who are good in marketing will get the business. If I know where to sell my products to, if I know where to sell your products to, I don't know. And I know where to sell that product to that you are producing. And I know where to sell them to, I will probably make more money than you who is busy doing the production. So you must think marketing, marketing, marketing. Market is very important in any business. In any business. A lot of farmers have been frustrated in this area. They go all, all, all out to do all the labor, to do everything they are they be doing, and then they get the product, they are tired. They just want to sell it off, and they don't know how to sell it. So somebody will come in who knows how to sell it, we get, we take the, 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 the product from them and go and make money from that product. This is time to start now. Think marketing. Think marketing. Marketing and innovation is the secret of business success. So think how to market. Think how to market your product from time to time. Become a marketing guru as regards your own farm product. And you discover that this business of farming is very good for you. This is Success in Farming TV. I'm your host, Dr. Joseph DG Folutile. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you have not done so now. And you can also, also press the bell so that when I make a new video, you can be notified immediately. Number six, think ways to associate with successful farmers. Think ways to associate with successful farmers. I always tell people, there is always a shortcut to success. The shortcut is to see people who are doing what you want to do and learn from those people. That's shortcut. Those who are succeeding in a business that you want to succeed in, find ways to be around them all the time. You will learn one or two things from them that will help you to also scale your own business. And I always tell people, as long as you have a farmer around you, because there's always a farmer around you who is better than you are doing right now. No matter how better you are doing, somebody is doing better than you. So, what you need to do is to move around that person. Don't go to that person to be begging for one thing or the other. Oh, show me how to do this. No, go to that person to add value. Everybody is in need of value. Nobody is ever tired of receiving value. So find a way to add value to that farmer. 
and the family will open up to also help you succeed in your own farming business. So take ways to associate with successful farmers. That's how to get there. That's how to get there. Don't think that, oh, uh, I know everything. No, some people know this business than you and they are doing it better than you. So always be on the look out for people like this. When you see them, move around them. Learn from them and move forward with that knowledge. Number seven, last but not the least, think giving back to the community where you do your farming business. Think giving back to the community where you do your farming business. Any way you are doing farming business, the community you are doing farming business, find ways to add value to that community. Imagine you are doing poultry farming, and just, oh, this is a village. I, I, let me get to know the king of that village, and I'm going to give this king a crate of egg or two crates of egg every month for the next one year. You'll be surprised how that thing will help you in your farming business. That was called spiritual marketing. I know a farmer who said that he was having a problem in the locality where I was doing farming. And when he was asking, what, 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 what can he do to stop this problem from these locals? Somebody said, why don't you, this is an area of their need. Get a borehole for them if you can afford it. Just give them a borehole. And he did that. And that was the end of that problem. He began to see him in a new light that this guy has come to develop our, our community. What of a farmer also, many of the farmers friends I have, they, they actually practically build bridges for the community they were farming in. Some even extended light from, to that village where they are doing their own farming. This is very important. So always think giving back to the community where you do your farming business. We are living in a boomerang world. Anything you do comes back to you. What goes around comes around. So find ways to add value. Find ways to add value to the community where you are doing your farming business. If you can't, Put in, put in place these seven ways you will scale your fine business this year, beginning from now, beginning from now. The kind of content I want to give you this year, the content that you can begin to implement immediately and you begin to see a difference in your fine business. I've been in the industry for about 34 years and I can tell you that uh, if you put in, in place all these things I'm telling you today, you discover that Contrary to what people are talking about, uh, farming business, this and that, because you are not doing it the way you should, you should do it. If you do it the way you should do it, any business will produce results for you. And farming business is not an exception. Once again, this is Sources in Farming TV, your host, Dr. Joseph DG Forutile. Uh, like you to subscribe to this channel. If you have not done so, share the video and also like the video. And you can also press the bell to receive more updates from time to time, till I see you again, bye for now, thank you.